Hey everyone, Travis here, and today I have an exciting tutorial on how to basically create your own business card mockups like this one. And uh, what's cool about this is once you're done creating it, you'll basically be able to uh, apply any of your business card uh, designs into the mockup, and it'll automatically update, and you won't have to recreate this over and over. And it's uh, it's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be creating this, and um, I'm actually going to go ahead and include this Photoshop document, and you can use it wherever you'd like if you want it for commercial use free use personal use however you want to use it that's fine with me um, I don't require that you that, you know mention anywhere in your design that uh, I created this it's free for you so enjoy it and also definitely take a look at how it's set up and it'll help you basically kind of create your own so let's uh, create a let's create a new document and let's do 1920 by 1080 okay and uh, let's uh, go ahead and unlock this background layer by double clicking and uh, I have this wood texture here and uh, I'm gonna click and drag it into my new document and I'm gonna hit control T to bring up the transform controls and then I'm gonna right click inside and I'm gonna hit distort and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make this look as if it's almost like a table maybe some like uh, I don't know like a wooden coffee table or something but basically the look I'm kinda going for is something sort of like this so and I'm just clicking and dragging the different uh, handles here until I get something I like and I'm gonna hit enter or you can hit the check mark at the top so now that I've got this um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this blank layer uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a little bit of adjustment layers I'm gonna um, do hue and saturation and I'm gonna bring the saturation down just a tad maybe about negative twenty and my dogs are barking at things hey <laughs> and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more for brightness and contrast and I'm just gonna bump the contrast up a little bit so this is before and this is after so not a huge change and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, merge these layers okay so uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer a blank layer and I'm gonna take a brush and this is gonna be a really soft brush with black and I'm going to start painting over in black up here and I'm going to do it just a little bit around the edges down here and what this is going to do is this is going to be our blur and you can it's a soft brush so that it's a gradual blur uh, and it's not just a real sharp change of sharpness to blur so now that I have this on this blank layer uh, this black I'm going to hold control or command if you're on a Mac and then I'm going to click on the layer so now I have my selection and then I'm going to uh, click the eyeball to hide that layer I'm gonna click on my background layer and I'm gonna to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and uh, let's do let's do about five or six and then hit command D or control D to deselect so now I've kinda of got this like pretty interesting kinda of like a macro looking almost uh, close-up of this wood you know table or whatever it may be so I'm gonna go ahead and delete uh, this but actually I'm gonna keep it because I might use that later to actually apply the blur onto the cards themselves as well. So uh, now let's start. Uh, put let's put a card in here. So the default size I think in the U.S. is uh, three and a half by two. So um, let's go ahead and create a new document, and we'll do inches, and we'll do 3.5 by two, and let's do a really high resolution for print, 300. And so now this is our card. So now I'm just going to use the move tool, and I'm going to click and drag it over into our blank layer here we go so this is the correct size of the card the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the layer and you're gonna go to convert to smart object and now when you hit control T you can tell it's a smart object because you'll have this X and uh, let's actually go ahead and scale this down and move it around and basically we're gonna manipulate this uh, to be basically the back uh, the back of the business card and it's gonna be uh, beneath the stack so just like the normal free transform if you uh, right click inside and hit distort you can kinda change these handles around and the one thing to look out for here is try not to uh, and then control T again to get the rotation try not to change the size too much um, and keep it as close to the actual size of three and a half by two as you can you know so obviously this is not right and you're trying to match the angle uh, as best as you can to the actual table so I'm gonna go ahead and say this is good I'd, I'd, I'd probably take a lot more time uh, but for the sake of the tutorial and time let's just say that 
this looks good. <laughs> um, so the next thing is, uh, let's go ahead and name this back card. And uh, if we double click on this now, on the layer itself, uh, we can click OK. And now you'll see this is a business card size. And then when we hit close, it's going to apply anything on here. So uh, for example, let's double click on it and let's just do this and then we'll hit close and then hit yes to save this .psb and then you'll see it's automatically applied onto that card. So let's hit, go ahead and hit uh, control Z. So um, now let's create this uh, to make it look a little more realistic. So let's go ahead and double click on this layer and uh, let's add a drop shadow and we'll position the angle and the distance just a tad and uh, maybe bump up the size a little bit and let's say that that looks good and uh, we'll also put a gradient overlay and let's put the angle like so let's click on the gradient and we want a black to transparent gradient um, but then let's actually double click on this black and make it kind of a light light gray click OK and let's turn the opacity down quite a bit and uh, yeah that looks about good and go ahead and click OK and what this will do is kind of give it a little bit of shadow and I'm actually going to go ahead and turn the gradient down just a little bit more because it's a little too harsh for me so just real real subtle uh, and that'll make a big difference so now let's say we want the back of this card to kind of be stacked like uh, the original here so like there's two of them or there's actually three there's one two and then three um, so all we have to do for this let's go ahead and close this one um, is click and drag this down to a new layer to make a duplicate and uh, let's go ahead and hit control T maybe rotate it just a tad hit enter let's say that looks good and then let's do one more and let's manipulate this quite a bit maybe it's uh, kind of in a, in a different position kind of like that let's rotate it a tad and uh, let's rotate it even more let's say that's uh, let's say that's good for the back and for this one for the drop shadow let's turn the opacity or not the opacity of everything but uh, on the drop shadow turn the opacity of the drop shadow pretty low maybe put the size a lot smaller so it's more harsh put the distance down maybe something like that and uh, like I said I'm gonna be doing this a lot quicker I, I would pay a lot more attention to detail and uh, how it's actually um, looking on this uh, screen as far as like the angle and everything to make sure it's the right perspective so let's just say that that looks good and then uh, let's create a copy of this back card right here click and drag and let's right click and just go ahead and hit rasterize layer uh, rasterize layer style so now it's just a plain layer and we'll go ahead and double click on it hit color overlay and I'm gonna go ahead and sample a dark color like this brown and then we'll make it even darker almost almost black and uh, let's drag this all the way down beneath these other two cards and this is gonna be like a hard shadow basically beneath some of these so let's put it about right there we'll hold alt and then left click and drag and we'll do one kinda underneath here like so yeah and uh... Let's go ahead and take the eraser tool and erase the top part up here because we don't want the shadow to be up there. And you see that shadow down there. We'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we'll just blur it just about right there, about six again. So um, let's say that's it for the uh, the back side. So basically, um, now we can go ahead and highlight. So uh, first, we want to figure out which one is the top. So let's hit auto select and uh, okay. So this is the top one, and we'll name this the back card and then we'll take all these other layers and shadows minus the background and we'll highlight them all and we'll hit control G or command G if you're on a Mac and that groups them and we'll name this group back cards so now what's cool and uh, if you click this little arrow in the FX it'll hide this stuff so um, now what's pretty cool is if we double click on this uh, top one right here right we double click on that little icon click OK we open it up so this is the back and um, Go ahead and uh, basically open up in another layer or a window your business card. And this is just a fake logo that I did a while ago, a uh, fake business card. Uh, so let's just click and drag it into this uh, PSB file that we just double clicked on our document and opened. And let's just size it to basically fit. And let's do it about right there. 
And uh, what's cool about this is uh, I can I can position it, and then I'm going to close it, and then hit yes to save. And then what it's going to do is apply it to all of the uh, cards that are on the back because we basically made uh, duplicates of them. So um, what's cool about this is let's say let's say um, this is a company, right? And the phone number is one, two, three, and they say, "Oh, you know what? We we have a change. You know, our phone number is this. You know, can we get a new mock-up?" You can just double-click on this layer again, change the number. And by the way, this doesn't have to be just a blank image. I mean, it can be. It's a full, pretty much Photoshop document. So you can put maybe a texture overlay on this. You can have text and whatever you do in here. As long as you close this and hit save, yes, it's gonna apply that to all the cards for the back ones. So that's really cool. One thing I would definitely suggest is maybe making a a new layer. Let's do. Let's just fill it with a color. Let's do f uh, noise. Add noise. Um, sure. <laughs> Click overlay. Bring it down a little bit. See how it's kind of got a little texture now. Click yes. And now you can see it's got that little texture on the card. So maybe like a linen texture or something like that, depending on the type of business cards that you're trying to mock up. So that's pretty much the process. And now let's go ahead and just do one for uh, the top cards. And I closed that layer from earlier, the three and a half by two for the business cards. So let's just make another one. Uh, we'll click and drag it over here. And this is a lot smaller than the. Oh, okay, it's because I put 72 resolution. So let's right click, convert to smart smart object. Let's go ahead and scale this up. Let's bring it down here like that. Uh, let's distort it just a tad. So this is the front of the business card, which would be on top of the other ones. Or depend, you know, depends on how you want to do it. You can do anything you want. And let's uh, scale it up just a tad. And let's say, sure, let's say that looks good. And of course, let's go ahead and uh, click and drag and hold. If you hold Alt and left click and drag an effects from a previous layer which is this top one with the drop shadow and the slight gradient that we did if you hold alt and click and drag it up to another layer it applies those same effects so um... let's actually move this distortion just a little bit so let's just say that looks good right there um... let's name this front card let's go ahead and collapse the uh... layer styles and we'll make a duplicate of this and we'll maybe rotate it just a tad. And let's say, yeah, that looks good. So this is the front one, and we'll name this the front card. And just like from before, we'll make a new layer. Or I'm sorry, not to make a new layer. Uh, we'll duplicate the bottom one here. We'll right click. We'll rasterize it. Rasterize the layer style, and we'll apply this uh, dark color again for another harsh shadow and maybe put a little bit of blur on it blur gaussian blur and if i'm going too fast i apologize guys this is a little bit more of an advanced tutorial um, if you want me to basically go over these steps a little slower just send me a message and i can maybe help you out if you get stuck uh... but definitely check out the photoshop document that i provided you guys to take a l closer look so this is the front card and let's go ahead and actually adjust this drop shadow just a tad to be shown up on the other side and maybe turn the opacity down quite a bit and I know this this doesn't really look that good but let's just say it looks awesome for <laughs> purposes of uh, time so let's go ahead and select those bottom ones group them and we'll say front cards so now we've got this front card and let's go ahead and double click click OK and we'll drag our front card and of course this is a lot smaller uh, PSB because I started out at 72 instead of 300 so make sure it's the right resolution for you let's say that's the front we'll click close hit yes and we'll come back to it and there it's applied and of course um, it's really pixelated so definitely when you drag in or you make a box make sure it's high resolution because if you start at a small resolution and then you scale that up and you convert it to a smart object before it's definitely going to uh, pixelate as you can see so this one looks good because we started at a high resolution and then we started manipulating this one we started at a really low resolution and started manipulating so um, that's uh, pretty much it for the actual technical part and now if we uh, go ahead and create a new layer let's fill it with any color and uh, double click on that to bring up the layer styles 
we'll turn the uh, fill opacity all the way down and then we'll check gradient overlay we'll change the uh, blend mode to soft light change the style to radial and then we'll go ahead and reverse this gradient so it'll be white to black instead of black to white click reverse let's scale it up and turn the opacity down quite a bit and click OK and so what that does is that gives it some nice dramatic light and uh, maybe for the final thing we'll uh, go ahead and select this original black layer for the blur that we did and uh, let's actually first let's create a new layer and we'll go to image uh, apply image make sure this blending is on normal click OK so now we have this layer up at the top that's basically everything that we've done down below and we'll apply the blur onto this one filter blur Gaussian blur and you'll notice now the card is getting blurred as well and click OK and uh, that's pretty much it I mean for the tutorial I mean it's pretty bad looking uh, these came out good let's just hide these because they are oh <laughs> I gotta do that so yeah so take a look at that um, you know definitely bump it up 720 so I mean that's pretty much it I mean it looks realistic it looks like the business card is really printed and uh, here's the one that I spent a little more time on uh, the lighting is probably a little bit too much but I'll provide this uh, Photoshop document and you can uh, basically manipulate this as well so that's pretty much it guys um, and you know play around with other backgrounds you could even do like uh, maybe like a blank color maybe like a dark gray oh I guess I have to fill it oh there we go yeah I mean so even that you know right there it kinda looks like metal or you know just a gray table but yeah so it's really cool and um, like I said you can always come in and double click on your one layer and change the you know change the uh, business card up however you might need to you know whatever and then uh, when you close it and hit yes it automatically applies it to all of them so it's a really great trick and uh, definitely uh, do some other stuff you know not just business cards you can do like envelopes you can do stationery you can apply it to maybe pins and uh, other things so um, that's it guys uh, I apologize if it was a little bit too quick and uh, like I said if you have any questions or you get stuck just leave a comment and I'll reply really fast thanks and have a great day